Well, hello. Uh, this is clearly going to be a slightly different video to the usual. First of all, because I grow some facial hair. I'm 23 years old and it's taken me to be in self-isolation to have to grow some facial hair. I've been isolated at home here for well, nearly 10 days. Um, it's pretty boring. But obviously from the title and the thumbnail of the video, you kind of know what's going on. I was tested positive to COVID-19, to the coronavirus. Um, and I wanted to make a video because I feel like, you know, I owe it to you guys to be completely open with what's going on and, and just potentially kind of uh, help shed some light on what it's like to be in this situation. Um, you know, so many people have been through it, but yet there seems to be a lot of confusion. And, you know, when um, I was feeling symptoms and between then and getting tested positive, I was kind of researching everything. And it was pretty unclear what the steps to take were and what we had to do. So I thought, you know, since I've been through this, I have a little bit of an audience, I might as well post a video um, and make it clear how I came about being tested positive, the process and what I've been doing since. Um, so obviously it also does mean that there aren't going to be any other videos um, this week and potentially next week, just because I'm locked at home and um, it's quite important to kind of rest through this period, but also mainly, you know, I can't go out and film any cars, I have to stay here. Uh, and I'd rather just wait until I can bring you quality content before bringing content again. But that's minor. I mean, I'm sure you guys will understand. I'm um, obviously self-quarantined, so not the best for gathering footage. Now, I've been self-quarantining, yeah, as I say, for nearly 10 days, but I was only actually tested positive halfway through that. Um, what happened is I went on holiday um, in the south of France here, a place called Saint-Tropez, which is about two hours from where I live, uh, and got there, and there started being a few rumors that, uh, you know, the corona, there were a few cases kind of cropping up in the area. Uh, now there's actually been a lot, but when I went there, it was, it was pretty minor compared to how it is now. But, you know, we were aware, I was there with a couple of friends, we were aware that there was a risk. So we took all the safety precautions that you're advised to take um, when you're in a place like that, which were, you know, wearing a mask when walking into a restaurant, for example, until you get to the table. If you go to the bathroom, you wear your mask. You don't shake anyone's hands, you have the distances between people. So we respected all those rules, you know, no more, no less than a lot of the people that were around us. Um, we were kind of doing, as I'm sure plenty of you are doing, uh, carrying on living our lives whilst being aware of the risk at hand. Now, my philosophy on it was, if you're willing to go out, and you know, this still is my philosophy, if you're willing to kind of go to restaurants or go to places like this where there is a risk, you need to then follow up with the steps afterwards to find out if you're positive or not. So if you decide, right, I am going to go to a restaurant or I'm going to see other people, then you kind of need to just accept the fact that you're gonna to need to get tested afterwards, which is what I did. So I uh, booked a test for the day that I got back from holiday so that I would know um, if after holiday, you know, I, I'd come into contact with anyone who was infected so that, you know, I wouldn't spread it around where I live, uh, see my grandparent, my grandma, my parents, you know, uh, people who are at a much higher risk than I am. Because even if, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, this Corona, it's, it, I'm young, I'm healthy, it doesn't pose a risk to myself. It causes a, it, it, it causes a risk for everyone around you that may be a high risk case with, you know, breathing issues or old, uh, elderly. Um, so yeah, I decided to get a test, which I did. So this was not this last Tuesday, but the one before. Um, did the test, came out negative. Um, but that morning I started feeling like headachey, sore muscles, and one of the restaurants I'd gone to had put out a statement saying that four of the waiters had been tested positive. So I, you know, I, I told the lady at there was a pharmacy, I did the finger test. So basically they take a little bit of blood out of your finger and tell you if you've got the antibodies within you. And if you do, they can tell if the antibodies are older or if they're newer. And if they're newer, you're then a high risk and they tell you to go get the nose test. Nothing popped up for me, which is odd because I clearly did have the antibodies because I was already feeling symptoms. So my body was already fighting uh, the virus. So I, I double checked, you know, I said, are you sure this is how I feel? I went to this restaurant, people were tested positive. They said, nope, you know, you're fine. You're good to go. You can live your life as normal. So I came home and I had to sit down and thought about it. And I was like, you know what? I read a few articles which said, you know, you should wait five days from when you were in contact um, to really have uh, a, a kind of a, a, an answer that would be solid because or else you can't really know 100%. So I took the decision to self-quarantine anyway, 
uh, despite having a negative test um, because I figured, you know, better safe than sorry and uh, there are people around me who are at high risk. So it's four or five days of your life. It's not going to change much. Might as well self-quarantine and then do another test in five days. And if you're negative, you're negative, not much lost. And if you're positive, then so be it. You then take the next steps. So that's what I did. Self-quarantine from Tuesday to Saturday and then did the nose test to be sure and came out positive, um, which was a bit of a bummer, obviously. Uh, didn't have any videos in store and had quite a lot of work I was meant to be doing, but you, you gotta do what you gotta do. So then I've been quarantining since. Uh, so it's now been, yeah, eight days um, that I've been here. <laughs> Pretty bored, to be honest. It's, it's quite something being stuck at home um, alone. I mean, the first three or four days I was not great. I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't anything too bad, but I was, you know, I had like a really bad flu basically. I had a really bad headache. Um, sore muscles. I didn't actually have any of the traditional symptoms like losing my taste, losing my smell, uh, dry throat, cough, all that jazz. I didn't have any of that, which is quite interesting I find because it shows that even if you don't have any of the traditional corona symptoms, you still need to be super careful, you still need to kind of take the precautions necessary. I just had a headache and sore muscles and I haven't had any of the traditional symptoms in this whole process. Now I'm feeling a lot better thankfully, but it kind of came in waves, like one day I'd, I'd not feel great, then I'd feel okay the next day, and then it came back. Now I'm getting to the end of it, so I feel better, which is why I wanted to kind of make this video for you now. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what happened to me. So what I, the reason I'm saying this is because what you know, can maybe be passed on is one, that those finger tests, you need to be a bit careful because from experience, I'm not convinced of how precise it is because had I believed that, I would have just gone and lived my life and potentially spread this to someone at high risk, which would be really, really dangerous. So if you don't feel well, I, I think, you know, even if you don't have the normal corona symptoms, that it is important to just better safe than sorry, quarantine yourself for a few days and then do the nose test. Um, as I say, if you take the decision of wanting to, you know, see your friends and do things which are risky, it's important to then follow up um, with the precautions afterwards. Um, since then, uh, I've actually been in contact with this lab, I'm going to put their Instagram down below. This lab, who, where is it? Here it is. Are developing these new tests. Um, and because you, there, there are obviously quite a few corona cases around, but there aren't too many who are like young and healthy and able to do self-tests at home, they're testing out these saliva tests, which could be a different form of finding out if you are um, positive to COVID or not. So basically you do it at home, you swallow this thing, spit it back in, and then you have a... a uh, a test that you send to the lab and then they give you your results. So it means you know you don't have to go uh, drive to a lab, uh, which is expensive. Some people, you know, public transport is complicated. They don't want to take public transport, don't have a car. Um, it's then in some places really expensive to get the test done. Uh, it's unpleasant, it takes 72 hours to get your answer. So this, um, you know, I'm trying out now and, and helping them kind of, uh, I, I guess, see if the results are um, linked to the nose test one. So I'm doing these and the nose test as well to kind of find out if this is accurate or not. Um, and hopefully there may be news. So as soon as I get any news on whether this works or not, I will, you know, let you know on Instagram where you could get your hands on one and try and potentially get that forward. Because I think the most important thing that we can do if possible is just stay on top of testing ourselves to be able to know when, if, um, we are in contact with COVID. But um, yeah, apart from that, I mean, spirits are still high. I've kind of, it's been relaxed here. I've taken the time to kind of have some time off and talk to friends, talk to family. Um, and while, you know, it hit me pretty hard, you know, I wasn't feeling great. Um, it wasn't the, the end of the world as far as I'm concerned, but you know, I'm 23 years old um, in decent-ish shape, I would hope. Uh, so yeah, but the, the main thing also that I've been telling people is it is nasty enough that, you know, you don't want to catch this thing. Um, yeah, you, I hear a lot of people being like, oh, well, you know, I'm young, so it won't affect me anyways. I'm not going to get too ill. It, it's very case by case um, and it's nasty. Like you do not want to get it no matter how old, how healthy you are. It's not something you want to get at all. And especially it's not someone you wanna, something you want to transmit to, to someone else. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make a video and kind of clear it up from there. Um, and uh, owed you at least that to explain why there aren't going to be any videos on the channel for. I don't know how long, I mean, it depends. As soon as I'm tested negative, I can go back out and I'm no longer contagious. I, I can't pass it to anyone else. So as soon as I test negative, 
uh, I will be back on making videos, but I just thought that I would um, share this story with you and hopefully anyone who's experiencing symptoms or wondering which test to do, um, this can kind of clear the air on that a little bit and I would have played my small part. So thank you for watching this video. I know it's completely different, maybe completely uninteresting to a lot of you, but better that it's out there. Thank you for the messages you've been sending me on Instagram. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stay locked up in here for a little while longer and I'll let you know as soon as I'm out. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.